on a wolf up here. Opponent is going a little too hard into wood. I'm not sure what he's going to do with it. We saw so many ranged units. We're going to put down a mangonel. We gotta grab a piece of sheep while we can. Hey everyone, glad to have you back. Things look a little different here in the user interface because we are playing a team game. And currently the uh, caster UI that I've been using for the past few games, uh, not available in uh, team games, unfortunately. That said, I'm gonna try to keep you uh, up to speed on where the advantages are. I mean, we still have this helpful uh, tracker here, so we can always look for age ups, look for uh, incomes, but army composition will probably have to be a little bit more on the ball about. We're aging up here. Let's take a little look see at what we've got going on. So I am playing as the English here, and we're putting down our council hall. I am teamed up with RTK, who is playing as the French. He is oh, very slowly gathering up stone. Interesting to see such early stone, but it's not really going to slow down his age up. It looks like he's almost there. He's just kind of going for a variety of resources here. Also going for wood. Interesting. Bring back plenty of sheep. Perfect timing, too. Love to see that. Looks like he's got enough. We should expect the school of cavalry coming from him. And it looks like he is, oh, where's he putting it down? He's coming forward. Okay, he's putting it near the front of his base, trying to shave off a little bit of time. I don't know if that was a good move. I honestly think he should have kept it closer to his base. Maybe he's thinking like castle here in the future, but um. Really, the cavalry are so fast, they can reach the opponent's base, I mean, in lightning speed. Really, the, the lost mining time of these workers walking it might not really be worth it putting it so far forward. But that said, he's getting it up at a good timing. We're probably going to see the age-ups coming soon. Surprise the Holy Roman Empire players that we're against. Blackbeard and Smelly Pirate Man. I love the themed team. That's pretty good. They're both going Holy Roman Empire. We should be seeing age-ups from them shortly. Usually these Holy Roman Empire players are the fastest age-ups. 420, I get an age-up. Not seeing anything else. It looks like Blackbeard is also gathering up some stone rather than going straight to the next uh, age. And Smelly Pirate Man's also a little behind. Oh, no, okay, they had already placed theirs. Never mind. I don't know why I was checking their resources. Blackbeard here on the right, aging up. On the left down here, we'll see, Smelly Pirate Man, there we go, age up as well. And I am being aggressive. We're going to see if we can put on some pressure with some um, Longbowman. Yep, scare off his scout. I don't want him to see me putting down this uh, barracks here. He probably caught a glimpse of it, who knows, but we're going to try and use this little gap back here in the stealth forest to put pressure on his stone and gold and maybe he's gathering wood over here it is in the, the influence area of his uh, Aachen Chapel looking to see if we're getting some royal knights out of my ally looks like he is continuing to just trickle in that stone Blackbeard is actually going for another town center right now I think we spot it right here. So Blackbeard's getting really greedy. And there's the uh, second town center. I'm hoping we spot this. I would love my scout to be over here. Unfortunately, we don't quite have him yet. We do have enough longbowmen here to actually uh, deal some good damage. But we're just walking right past this town center. Maybe we're noticing it just a little too late. Okay, now the longbowmen are coming over. We can start sniping at some of these villagers on the edge. Ah, no luck. We're going to try and skirt around the edge here, but I think we're going to lose a longbowman anyway. Ouch. Luckily, we didn't lose the uh, villager. And look, we're already denying some gathering from going on over here. And this is really promising since this is in his Aachen Chapel uh, radius. 
Will we go Rams? Probably not. We're really just here to put on some pressure. Who would love to snipe that villager? But man, does that town center hurt? Yep, he. the moment he tucks his villagers into the town center, it hurts. But we can just hold position these uh, longbowmen here, see if he wants to come forward. Looks like he is, and he's pulling a lot of villagers here. Over here, we're not seeing any pressure being put on by my uh, French opponent. It's because he's rallying his knights over here. He's going to try and combine forces with me. I lose my uh, longbowmen to his villagers, but we're wise, and we pull back this way. Should probably cancel this tower. I don't think we cancel it in time, but we're targeting down his weakened villagers. I love that call. Plus, my villagers still have bows. They can deal five damage at range, and these spearmen are nothing to... Oh, and the knight showing up. This royal knight is having a great time. Can basically just target down these villagers. And yeah, we're doing the same with our uh, longbowmen. So getting good villager kills here. Really, these knights are the ones. Yeah, it looks like they're cleaning up a lot of villagers here. Wow, good kills. So I'm, I'm actually pretty happy that my uh, ally decided to send his, um, his knights this away. And yeah, we're going to try and burn down this palisade wall. I need to get my uh, spearmen and villager attacking this other wall. We need to combine our forces here. Still just trickling in some longbowmen. We don't want to commit too hard. Opponents are likely on more town centers than us. Losing my scout up here, unfortunate. Probably should have just parked him in this stealth forest here rather than just sitting at the front. And I'm using my longbowman to try and target down some of his villagers. Yeah, let's go for that weakened one. But he wisely brings a prelate over to start patching up his uh, villagers. And he can just run them forward to repair this. He's going to toss them in the outpost and start firing down at my units. I don't really want to lose these spearmen. The arrow fire is painful for us. It's not so painful for my ally. He could stick around with his knights. But I think... Yeah, he's going to back off because villagers can just patch that up. We'll probably cancel this and look for a new target. We've kind of stumbled into a good strategy. I wasn't expecting my ally to go French, and I just ended up going English. But it's a very potent Feudal Age combo. These Royal Knights doing great damage to nearly all units. The only thing they have to look out for are spearmen while my longbowmen excel at taking out uh, Spearman. He is getting a lot of knights. I'd love to see him active with these. Group them up with the scout and look for targets. Might as well just rally them to the front or at least check out maybe this side over here. Might as well get a look at what our opponents are up to. I'm pivoting over to this gold. I'd really like to build a tower here and deny it. That's probably what we will do. And we are getting our second town center down. That trickle of stone finally paid off. Ally continuing to trickle in stone. He just got enough for his second town center. And it's at this point in the game that my ally is saying, I don't think we're going to be getting much more off of these, uh, these opponents. We need to either age up or get a second town center down. He was like, you need either another town center to age up and fortunately, I've already gotten my second town center going down. And this was nice. Uh, it looked like uh, Smelly Pirate Man was sending over some forces to aid Blackbeard over here, but it didn't quite work out. Smelly Pirate Man, not sure about the um, not sure about the unit counts or the um, I should say the town center counts for him. I'm going to bring my units over to meet up with his royal knights, but he's got a lot of them, yeah. Going to have to back off. He can do pretty much whatever he wants with these knights. Um, I remember him coming forward here, and I liked seeing this, especially since my units were on the way. The only problem I have with this is that he decides to commit his knights to attacking this, um, this tower, and it has already been reinforced with stone, so the... Um, the attacks against it are reduced, and it's the Holy Roman Empire. He could just hit the emergency repairs, and this would be completely repaired. And yeah, here come the spearmen. We can help with clearing them out, but he should really be sending these knights into the opponent's base. 
who cares about this outpost? That's five or a uh, few, two villagers not working. Let's go do that in the rest of his base. Let's make his villagers stick in this town center. Like we should really be putting on pressure. Instead, he's just throwing his units away on this um, this outpost. I really don't like this play from my opponent and I, or my uh, my ally. And so I decide to just wrap around with my uh, troops. Sadly, lots of walls back here. Ooh, nice. The nice part about, uh, although I was bad about making scouts. Okay, yeah, see, look, he's already down to five knights. He had a huge army of them earlier. I really just don't like his uh, decision making to just waste all his units on, these, uh, on this outpost. I'm just picking off spearmen when I can see them and then backing off. While I didn't really make scouts, in fact, I don't have a stables, we did put down a lot of these outposts. And these outposts give really good vision. You can catch armies in transition, and when you see those armies, you can kind of predict the, uh, the unit composition that an opponent might be going. So while I was bad about making more scouts and actively scouting my opponents, I do like all these outposts. They're giving that bonus uh, attack speed, aura to all of my units when they're near them. Uh, they provide all this vision and they're also securing resource spots. I'm trying to put them near resources or near relics just to deny our uh, opponents. I'm aging up with the King's Palace. I figure let's go Triple Town Center. We're not seeing much pressure from our opponents. So I'll be kind of greedy and take this. There's the second town center for my ally. Love seeing this. And I'd love to see him. Ooh, he is way too heavy in gold. Wow, really needs to cut down on the gold uh, gathering. I'm guessing it's because, yeah, he's got all of these villagers over here. All of these villagers over here. He's desperately trying to get food at this point. But yeah, completely overgathered in uh, gold. That's why he hasn't been able to age up just yet. Opponents, they are also pretty low on resources. Smelly Pirate Man is kind of stacking them up. Let's check out income per minute. We are way ahead in food. However, our opponents are definitely gathering more wood. Gold, however, we are winning. Same with stone. It seems like we just have more villagers. Probably a consequence of the French uh, getting increased uh, villager production speed and also us picking off a lot of villagers over here. This really crippled uh, Blackbeard. I'm still not sure if Smelly Pirate Man went for a second town center. I have to suspect he did. Blackbeard making it to the Castle Age before Smelly Pirate Man. So over here, we've got a Castle Age HRE. So we should expect lots of man at arms. At this point, I'm telling my ally, sit on relics, sit on relics. We need to deny relics. And I believe he does. He, he does uh, assist in that. We want to clear up these relics that are kind of on our side, but we really want to deny the ones that are close to our opponents. We'd love to see this one grabbed up. We'd love to see this one grabbed up. Yeah, he's parked his knights on top of it. And nice. We've got outposts over here. We can use them to take out uh, prelates as they come to collect those uh, relics. Because now is that awkward moment where our opponents turtled up they made spearmen they made outposts they made walls they've denied us from really harassing them but now they have to come out on the map if they want to get more resources because we're just going to win in the income department like look at the income it's because we have free range over the um the map my ally put, wisely putting down walls same with me i'm just going cheap with wood walls but it will secure this sacred site so it's important i get this down and we're just rallying units to different areas of the map. We don't really want to... Um... Oh, nice. Sending in a, uh, a ram. Looks like we bust through these uh, walls, and now we're just going to knock down what we can. And we're spotting the Burgrave Palace going up. So last person to age up will be Smelly Pirate Man. Ooh, let's check upgrades while we're here. A little bit of ranged armor. Looking good. And a lot of spearmen. Worth noting, since he has so many um, knights. Now he's going to try and be active with them. We are denying gathering of these relics. And the moment we see that he wants to contest a relic, we will just send more troops that way. 
Yep, should see another squadron heading that way. And I like seeing the crossbowmen get mixed in. I, uh, I got advice from my ally just saying like, hey, it's just gonna be man-at-arms eventually. Uh, and I told him I won't rely on just longbowmen. Like, I'll, I'll be sure to get crossbowmen in the mix. Knowing that, first military production buildings that I'm gonna get down in the third age, archery ranges, we need these. Ally trying to bust through these walls. I like the idea. It's possible this gap is still there, but I don't know. Might as well make some more uh, dents or some more gaps. And yeah, see, they're trying to come out on the map. They were trying to grab this relic. Now they're thinking maybe we can get this stone, but they're so penned in. Yeah, he has to back off, unfortunately. That's just way too many spearmen. Ooh, but he upgrades now. He's at veteran royal knights. Okay, everyone is in the castle age. But we're getting villager kills over here. This outpost, the vision is so good. It's even giving me a few kills with this uh, longbowman here. Yep. Love to check his upgrades. Okay, once again, my ally is just coming forward with the knights and just ramming his head into these outposts. That is just not the move. And over here, we've got Smelly Pyroman and Blackbeard trying to clear out this area so that someone can grab the relic. And yeah, they're really committing here. Yep, just gonna grab it. We're sniping him down. Nice. Might as well kill the uh, prelate. While I'm gonna lose my army and another prelate can come and grab it, anything to slow them down just a little bit. And we're doing well with our own monastery. We're grabbing up relics when we can. We've secured this sacred site. And yep, there goes our monk grabbing up hopefully another relic. So you can see we've really penned in our opponents. Uh, ooh, very nice walls from the uh, my French ally. Securing this gold, all this wood, and pretty much narrowing the gap of how uh, we can be approached. And this I'm doing because why not? If they're penned in, we might as well just secure the sacred site, put them on a timer. When this gets captured, it'll be 10 more minutes till the end of the game. Seen some units over here. We're going to try and snipe up uh, this villager. No, nope, looks like we missed out. We'll just take out these spearmen. Oh, okay. But yeah, I've got units kind of moving around the map. This is a case of... Uh, when you're in team games, it's kind of less about um, gathering up your armies, looking for a big push, things like that. It, it's more just... Can you keep up your unit production enough to just squabble over resources on the map? Like, uh, it's it. if there's just a huge army roaming around the map, the game's gone way too late for you to deal with it. It's because you didn't prevent your opponents from uh, gaining resources on the map. And yes, love to see the network of Citadel's upgrade coming through. We did end up putting a keep down here, pretty much primarily to secure the sacred site and more so to get that network of citadels upgrade. Let's check out upgrades. My ally is going for the melee blacksmith bone uh, upgrades. That's really smart. Why not? You're up against the uh, Holy Roman Empire. Get defenses for your melee. Yeah, get more melee armor, and they get free attack, so well spent. I'm getting ranged attack and a little bit of melee defense. Would love to see this blacksmith working again. And it looks like, yeah, we're getting up to two relics. Love to see that. Still on income. Blackbeard is starting to equalize in food. My ally is kind of falling behind on villager production, maybe? It looks like it might be... No? Maybe he's got villagers in transition, but his food's looking a little low here. but I like the pressure that he's putting on. I mean, he's been on a one-track mind here. Gotta break down this area, but there's plenty of other places to approach. I think maybe he could have done better by attacking down here. I mean, I feel like you have more direct access to these town centers. And yeah, he did go to town centers. That's good to know. I'm just rallying units to this outpost. It seems like a great spot. It's got good vision. 
I'm not too worried about these resources over here. If the Holy Roman Empire wants to grab them, so be it. I'm more worried about this gold, this gold, and this stone down here. We're looking at an engagement here. He's got knights, lots of horsemen, lots of spearmen. We're going to pull them back into the outpost. And there's that network of citadels upgrade. Plus 50% attack speed. Watch as we pull these units over here. Look at the attack speed. The longbowmen are just firing so fast. Same with the crossbowmen. It's just really impressive what that uh, bonus does. Yep, there it is activating again. Look how fast the crossbowmen are firing. Fire, reload, fire, reload, fire, reload. Like That's just impressive. Look how we turned the tides there. That was insane. What a one-sided victory. Down here, it's looking grim because he's my uh, my ally is facing so many spearmen, but he's made man-at-arms, so all he has to do is occasionally disengage with his knights, let them regain their health with the chivalry bonus. Yep, you can see these spearmen just aren't suited at taking out these, um, these heavily armored man-at-arms. I think if I was there, we could have done a lot better. But yeah, now the knights are really just sweeping in to clean everything up. And the trebuchets are finally getting to work. Love seeing that. Now that we've kind of merged our armies, things are going to be tough. With my big win over here, we can put on light pressure. See if this Holy Roman Empire player, we want to see if um, Blackbeard wants to do anything about it. Down here, it looks like Smelly Pirate Man is getting overwhelmed. It's just so much ranged damage, so much melee damage from these Royal Knights. And with the trebuchets behind, we'll just snipe down all the landmarks. Here, things might be a little different. We're engaging with his units. He's got 1-1 one, one upgrades for nearly everything, and he's got tons of bonus attack on these Man-at-Arms. But again, the Network of Citadel's bonus here is insane. The attack speed is just unheard of. If there had maybe been some lands connects in the mix here, this would have gone better, but just the sheer amount of damage that we're outputting here. Don't engage equal armies with the English under an outpost. It just goes badly. Back here, since I don't, I mean, I can't really do much with my ranged units, I'm just gonna park them at a few resource locations, yep on these farmlands, on this wood. We can't really do anything about the outposts. We'll let my ally and his heavily armored units and trebuchets tear everything down. Smelly Pirate Man's pretty much out of the game at this point. It's just down to Blackbeard. And we're already anticipating his moves. The Mangonel we knew was coming, and so we actually put down two siege workshops and have been pumping a few spring alts. We'll probably see some spring alts get into production. Yep, there we go. Four spring alts coming our way. And I mean, we've aged up with the Windguard Palace. We've made it to the Imperial Age. We're going to start getting those cheap Windguard armies. Our ally is just kind of waiting it out. I'm fine with idling this uh, player's economy. Why not? Over here, more engagements. And even though the keep isn't up, this outpost is all that matters. We sniped his mangonel with our spring alds, our single spring ald. But remember, this thing has that plus 50 uh, attack speed, so it's attacking really quick. It, well, I mean, we'll probably use it to snipe down this mangonel here. There we go. He can hit my army as much as he wants. The spring alts are just going to take care of it. Also, I think I... Yes, I'm bringing monks down to this area since those mangonel shots did so much damage. We'll patch up our units. Yep, French player can pretty much just... I mean, these knights, he can go wherever he wants with them and tear down whatever building he wants. He just needs to take out the Aachen Chapel and then the Burgrave Palace back here. Me, I'm spreading units out. We're going to look for villagers that are gathering elsewhere. We're a little bit blind to what's going on in the north here, so we're going to send some units that way. 
gathering gold here, although there is no... Oh, I should probably put down a mining camp. Whoops. Well, those villagers will have a long walk, but that's okay. And we're going to put down rams since we don't quite have the building destroying arsenal that we're looking for. Nice. The monks are here, though. They'll patch up the units while they're making rams. What could be better? There we go. And we'll just send the rams and they'll provide good vision for all my archers. Ooh, and we find villagers up here gathering wood. We can put a stop to that. And you can see the gold income has just completely been ruined for our opponents. I'm thinking this might be GG here. Ooh, especially now that I've got a bombard on the front of the... Yeah, this is, this is looking over. Looks like Smelly Pirate Man's done for. The last of his landmarks are about to get targeted. Probably the, yep, trebuchets are on the way. Two minutes till the sacred victory. This is looking like one last push from my opponent here, Blackbeard. But with all these spring alts, he can't bring any siege units forward. That's it. Now this was the first of five placement matches. These were gold league players. So I'm sure we're gonna go up a little up against harder and harder opponents as we make it through our five placement matches, but it was a fun first team game. Hope you'll be around for the next one. See you then.